impact of winter weather has led to a big need for blood donations. Good evening, I'm Dylan Austin. And I'm Mackenzie Henderson. Yes, a push is underway tonight to replenish the blood supply. The Red Cross blaming winter weather for the shortage and they're doing all they can to catch back up. WGEM's Charity Bell is live in Quincy tonight with more Charity. Yeah. I'm here at the American Red Cross Donor Center here in Quincy. And if you take a look around, you can still see that there are people here donating blood. But today's event is getting ready to wrap up, wrap up here shortly. The American Red Cross has been working overtime with blood drives like this one to get more people out to donate blood. Just keep squeezing five to ten seconds, okay? Every five to ten seconds, and we'll get your unit, okay? Thank you. This is the first time Joseph Moran has given blood in over 15 years. He was stationed in Turkey for a year while he served in the Army. He says that stopped him from being able to be a blood donor. I've been, been wanting to do it for years, so I, I used to, but until the, the, the time came up that uh, I couldn't. It was a gift of life, and I've had family members that have needed blood in the past, so this is my way of giving. Jim Whitfield with the American Red Cross Blood Services says there's always a need for blood, and the pandemic and now a hard winter is impacting their supply. American Red Cross collects about 13,000 pints of blood every single day. And that's what the need is. He says canceled drives resulted in hundreds of units of uncollected blood. And we partner with about 2,600 hospitals across the U.S. as well. So we need to make sure on times like this in winter weather that there's, there is enough inventory to make sure that we take care of those uh, partners. He says like Blessing Hospital and Hannibal Regional Hospital. He says 90% of blood donated today would help someone in this region. Moran says if you can donate, you should. So even when you don't know the individual, there's a lot of people that you touch that you don't even know. If you missed today's event, Whitfield says the next one is tomorrow in Hannibal from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Ark United Methodist Church. There is still time to register for that event if you would like to do so. Live in Quincy, Charity Bell, WGEM News.